What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play, and today I've got a very special Let's Play for you because today I've got my 500 subscriber special. Thank you so much to everybody who's stuck around the channel. Um, if you're newer to me, thanks for coming on. Um, it has been just a heck of a lot of fun, and I couldn't thank you guys enough for sticking around and enjoying my videos, and yeah, it's been a really, really fun hobby, so thank you, thank you again. Um, so today I've got some toy soldiers, that's what we're playing. Uh, this is a World War One game, but it's a tower defense game, sort of on steroids, and uh, it's a lot of fun. It's been out for a couple years now. Um, and it allows you to build your towers and then sort of hop into... Huh, I just shot that sign down there. Uh, it allows you to hop into... Oh, that's my guy. Whoops. allows you to hop into your weapons and sort of uh, try out the different levels. It's pretty fun. Um, right now I've got two machine guns. You can also build mortars. This is sort of the first uh, beginner level here. And... The Germans are charging me. This is the Battle of Ypres. Uh, the Germans are charging me in different waves, and so it's up to me to try to stop them. I've also got uh, one of my buddies over here on the left who is manning that machine gun tower. And come on, man. What's... Uh, there we go. So you're trying to uh, basically take down these different levels, these different waves of German soldiers. And uh, I think once we get to a couple of waves from now they can actually uh, get stormtroopers going, which are pretty scary. They throw grenades and shit like that, so... Uh, wow, why are these guys all up on this here? Uh, make sure we get that guy. No problem. They're sort of almost trying to get through the uh, front defenses here. That guy tripped, and now he's dead. Boom. Okay, there's that, uh, there's that wave. Let's jump on out of this tower. Can we upgrade him? We can. So I'm going to upgrade that guy. Upgrade that guy. And I'm going to put a mortar crew there. Okay, nice. So while these guys are updating, the next wave of German soldiers should be coming on out. All right, here they come. Here they are. We're going to jump back into our turret and see what we can do. Um, also, in my last uh, subscriber special episode, we did it at 300. So it's been quite a while since we've made it up now to 500, which I'm so happy about again. That is... Uh, really awesome and thank you guys again so much but um, one of the things I promised I would do on the next subscriber special is a and a and so I left that open on the last uh, episode the last subscriber episode and uh, I got three questions in so we're gonna go ahead and answer those two once we finish out this wave and prepare for the next one hello come on there we go all right so we've killed that wave um, Let's go to the first question. Uh, let me pull it up really quickly here. Okay. Uh, first, AIF Kohan asks, Question, why did you start doing YouTube and have you been enjoying it so far? Uh, I started doing YouTube uh, when I really got into strategy PC gaming. Um, I've been doing it since January of 2014, so I've been doing it for about 10 months now. and. Uh, the reason I got into it is because I just loved strategy gaming so, so incredibly much. And um, I sort of discovered how big gaming you, you, uh, is on YouTube, which I guess I'm sort of late to the party for that. But uh, either way, a very cool community, a very uh, awesome I, awesome thing, I think, for gaming just in general. Uh, here come those Stormtrooper units, by the way. Um, and the reason I wanted to start a strategy gaming YouTube channel is because every single campaign, especially with these Paradox games that I play, sort of um, let you tell a different story. They're very replayable. Each campaign that you do has its own story, has its own reasons why you either failed or succeeded. Uh, there's different struggles going into each campaign. I mean, how could you not love that? Um, I'm also a huge history buff, so I love the World War history periods, um, as you can tell from my channel. I love Napoleonic era, um, uh, colonialization era, you know, um, imperialism, that whole type of thing. Uh, even, you know, even stuff dating back to the Middle Ages, I just think it's really cool. Uh, the Viking period is awesome. I don't know, I just love history, and so I wanted to make my channel be about something that I really enjoy doing and I really enjoy, you know, uh, covering. So, um, 
yeah, those are the reasons why I got into it, and I love it so far. Thanks for the question. All right, let's finish up. Uh, yeah, we're just mowing down this just incredible. Here we go. My mortar crew's helping out now. You can see these guys sort of flopping up everywhere. All right, we had two make it across. And the last guy, he's gone. He's gone there. All right, next question. In your possible Mountain Blade series, do you plan to make it longer like Conquer the World one? Those are my personal favorites, but just setting goals is fun as well. Also, congrats on 300 subscribers. This was asked by Parker Brewer. Thank you, Parker. Um, I appreciate the 300 subscriber shout out there. Uh, happy to now be at 500, which is awesome. Um, hopefully we can make it to 1,000 someday. Someday. Uh, oh, I didn't notice the Germans had sort of a, a tower up here. Interesting. If we hop out and sort of zoom out, you can see what the battlefield is doing. Um, to answer Parker's question, uh, as far as a Mountain Blade series, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest, if I'm going to do a, um, you know, Mountain Blade Warband just a series with normal... Oh god, here comes a grenade! With the normal sort of vanilla version. I mean, I really like playing the, uh, I really like playing the Napoleonic Eras add on to that game uh, just because I like the period so much I don't uh, I don't know I feel like there's some other stuff coming up that I want to cover you know we've got Hearts of Iron 4 that's right around the corner we were able to qualify for a beta we, like we qualified to basically enter the lottery for a beta um, which is really cool but uh, I'm assuming that there's a lot of other people that also qualify to get into the, uh, the lottery for a beta key uh, it is a closed beta key, and I don't know. Wow, these guys are getting really close. And, um, yeah, I've got like 60 people that have signed up, which is awesome. But only 10 beta keys are going to be randomly distributed, so we're going to have to get pretty lucky. Um, and that sh those should be released around Christmas, from what I'm being told. So uh, we have to wait a couple more months. It's October now. We have to wait a couple more months to see if we win the lottery piece of that. Oh my god, this is a crazy wave right now. Mowing down all of these guys. But yeah, Parker, to, to answer your question, I don't, to, just to be honest, I don't think I'm going to start a uh, Mountain Blade like normal vanilla campaign anytime soon. Um, uh, maybe I will. Maybe I will, though. Uh, it just depends on how well my other stuff is going on. Okay, we've got the next wave coming, and... Let's pop out of this machine gun nest, and I'm going to go back over to this guy. Uh, and the final question I got was from Trolls V. Where are you from? I am from the uh, United States. I was born in New York and lived there until I was about eight years old. After that, my family moved down to North Carolina, so that's where I currently stay. And I've been here for like 21 years <laughs> of my life now, and so uh, I really like it. It is the South, but I live in sort of the capital of North Carolina. And oh, we nabbed that guy. We live in the I live in the capital of North Carolina, and so it's like I don't know. It's really cool. It's uh, a perfect mix between sort of city life and rural life. So uh, that is where I'm from. And we just won, folks! Woo! Thanks for watching again. Thanks for being a subscriber. Please make sure you check back to my channel sometime soon. I've got more content coming out. I know it's been a little lacking lately, but uh, I've got some new content coming out, and make sure you stick around. Thanks again.